welcome to our brand new series, Young Turks Transformers. I'm Shireen Bhan. On the launch pad, we showcase the talents of an incubator or startup company looking for their big break too. All of that's coming up for you on the show. Here's a quick glimpse. Watching Young Turks Transformers on Launchpad, we tell you the entrepreneurial story of a young team of entrepreneurs modeled on a real life incident. Shweta Mangal lost a friend in a fatal accident and she was shaken by the lack of medical emergency services and so she decided to act. She set up 1298, a life support services system that operates on the 911 model in the US and has a partnership with the London Ambulance Service as well. She's now targeting a national rollout. Here's her story. Life is unpredictable and all we can do is prepare for the worst. Often when you call for help, it's delayed, unresponsive and unavailable 24 by 7. So if you're ever in a situation where you need urgent medical attention, pray that you're in Mumbai, Kerala or in Patna because there you can dial 1298 and an ambulance will come to your rescue. Founded in 2005 by five friends who studied in the US, left their cushy jobs and returned to their roots to offer emergency services through advanced and basic life support ambulances in India. One of them, Swetha Mangal, co-founder and CEO of Dial1298 for Ambulance, worked for seven years in the corporate sector before she decided to follow her calling. Due to the lack of experience in managing ambulance operations, the team decided to take technical and managerial assistance from one of the world's largest and best metropolitan ambulance services, the London Ambulance Service. They began with an initial investment of 2 crore rupees and last year gross revenues of 4 crore rupees. A centralized control room in Mumbai is operational 24 by 7 and is equipped with an ambulance tracking system and wireless radio that allows seamless communication between ambulances and hospital emergency rooms. Advanced Medical Priority Dispatch Software provides medical advice to callers till the ambulance arrives and can control and coordinate up to a thousand ambulances simultaneously. The USP of 1298 Ambulance Service is the fact that it's universally accessible service, yet self-sustainable financially. Uh, worldwide, you, we, we all have seen ambulance service which are either run by the government or are completely government funded or are run by NGOs and are funded by the NGOs are, or are private ambulance services. But there was nothing which was in between, which was really serving everybody irrespective of their ability to pay and yet having a revenue model which was self-sustainable. So in that respect, we really do not have any competition who is working in the, uh, in the same model. And taking it from idea to action, 1298 Ambulances provides for a doctor on board accompanied by a helper trained to deal with medical emergencies. The service currently operates 51 ambulances in Mumbai, 30 ambulances across Kerala and 10 in Patna. With operations in Mumbai that stretch from South Mumbai to Borivili, Thane and Panvel, the group plans to drive into eight other metros by 2012. But what were the speed breakers? The first challenge was the capital. The second challenge was really to get a number. Uh, we wanted a four-digit number which was easy to remember. And uh, you know, we, we applied through the normal routes of getting that number and it just took two years to just get the four-digit number. Ultimately, the number we got was something which we did not apply for. But then later, we just said that, look, beggars cannot be choosers. So let's just run with what we've got. And 1298 uh, uh, then came into being. The third and the most uh, biggest, uh, the third and the biggest challenge was really uh, to get trained manpower. One thing which we realized was the whole industry was very, very nascent. People did not want to work on ambulances. Awarded the Godfrey Phillips National Bravery Award for Social Act of Courage in 2007 and the Times Foundation Recognition Award for Life-Saving Service in Mumbai in 2006, Dial 1298 is now a case study at Oxford and Harvard. Having already received $1.5 million in 2007 from New York-based Acumen Fund, the venture is also supported by corporates like Goldman Sachs, HSBC and some NGOs like Red Swastik Society and the Rotary Club. 
Dial 1298 Ambulance's mission is to offer ambulance services for all in need and what sets them apart is their differential pricing strategy. A revenue model is very simple. When a person calls to avail an ambulance service and he makes the choice of going to a private hospital, we charge him the full fare. But if a person is calling for the ambulance and has made an option to go to a government hospital, it's straight away 50% discounted. And it is free for people who are uh, victims of accidents and are unconscious because obviously for them there is nobody else to help them. So we take them to the closest government hospital so, they, so that they can be treated. So uh, call revenue is really uh, what gives us our bread and butter in terms of running the service. However, the call revenue was not something which we could rely on fully if we wanted to run a world-class service. So we had to think of additional ways of really earning revenue from this service. So the second option which we, uh, sorry, the second uh, stream of revenue is really the sponsorship revenue. So what we did is we really said that this service can be supported by a corporate who's very, very socially conscious. And we then approached a lot of companies and Tata AIG Life was really the first one who came on board. So we really get paid uh, from Tata AIG to support all the subsidized calls on a regular basis. Here's wishing the team at 1298 the very best of luck. On that note, it's time for...